going to do a new segment each week now in our show. It's called Incredible Women of Motorcycling History. How fun is that, right? Anyway, this first woman I want to tell you about is my friend Louise Sherbin. Louise was born in 1903 in Waterloo, New York. She fell in love with motorcycles like a lot of us the first time she ever saw one. And she finally got her first bike in 1933, which was an Indian pony. She kept it in the basement of her house the first year, read the whole manual, learned how to ride it, and in 1933 became known as one of the first women to ever ride a motorcycle in Rochester, New York. Rides she did. She did lots of solo riding. In 1937, she took her first trip to Chicago. It was 1,200 miles. And then in 1930, um, I'm sorry, 1940, actually 39, 40, she started the first women's all motorcycle girls event in Waterloo, where they had field events and exhibitions by women women riders. She put posters up all over the place. How cool is that? And in 1941, she did another long solo trip. This was 1,800 miles, all the way up to Quebec, Canada, coming down through New England, stopping in New, uh, Laconia, New Hampshire for the opening launch of the Women's Motorcycle Club, the Motor Maze, which is incredible. Uh, Louise was the first one of the founding members of the uh, Motor Maids. Um, she owned three Indian motorcycles in her life. For over 30 years, she was a cross-country endurance rider, stunt rider, carnival rider. She became an associate editor of Motorcyclist Magazine in 1943 which was amazing for women at that time to be writing for a motorcycle magazine. The AMA magazine was called The Motorcyclist. She also became a columnist for the magazine and wrote many, many stories for the magazine over the many years. In 1950, she decided to start her own club and launched the Women's International Motorcycle Association. It's uh, still going this day, and that's how I met her in the 80s. We became pen pals, pen pals. That's before people actually... Uh, had the internet <laughs> and wrote, we used to write letters and stuff like that. Anyway, after an, a long 100 year life, Louise passed away in 2003, and I just wanted you to know a little something about my friend Louise. Thanks. <laughs>